Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Lingua Prof Teacher Trainings and to our YouTube channel today. One short lesson with common ideas regarding uh, human resource and management training, especially, and coaching. And I will present a few ideas uh, based on um, the survey that um, Project Oxygen has um, resulted in. Project Oxygen has been uh, designed for uh, the purpose of uh, analyzing the basic and most important managerial traits by Google for um, uh, their organization. And uh, today I would like to present uh, the results. Uh, this project, Oxygen, has uh, revealed that uh, uh, the least important, uh, number eight, in this list of uh, managerial uh, traits, which are, of course, very important, uh, are the technical skills. Um, but uh, it's revealed that you must, as a manager, have uh, strong technical skills in order to be able to advise um, your people. Now the question here is uh, how uh, much an expert must you be in that industry? I uh, personally had my experience with the pharmaceutical industry where most of the managers um, in leading multinational companies have um, a medical uh, background um, or had or used to have a medical background. Nowadays more and more um, top executives uh, come from different other industries. So the question is how important it is for you to, uh, to be an expert in order to give advice to your people and how important for them is for you to have a strong knowledge in, in uh, that specific industry. Number seven in importance, so the second least important, but of course still very important uh, issue, that you must have a clear vision and, uh, and uh, a strategy for the team. Um, what does this mean? Uh, you have to be able to uh, not only to have and understand and, and uh, even create a vision, maybe in some situations, but you must also be able to uh, transmit this clear uh, vision and clear strategy to your people. Number six. Um, is uh, that you this number number six trait uh, in order of importance uh, is uh, that you must be able to help um, your employees with career development. I don't know how many of you have thought about uh, the necessary uh, conditions for being able to to provide. Uh, proper career development possibilities for your people. Of course, the most important requirement here is to have and lead a company which is developing, because if the company is, 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 is not developing, it is very difficult to find new uh, career development uh, opportunities for, for uh, the best members of your team. Uh, but managers, of course, must also, must always be able to, to show that they appreciate employees and uh, to express how important their work is for them. So uh, if uh, there is no possibility on short term or even medium term of career development uh, for external reasons, for example, uh, they you must be able to convince them that on long term uh, it's for their benefit to be better and better in what you're doing. Number five trait is uh, you must be a very good communicator and uh, you must be able to listen to your team. Of course, all of you know how important listening skills are uh, in communication, how important listening skills are in 
leadership in general. Uh, Google's problem, of course, as uh, many IT or, or uh, engineering uh, companies um, throughout the world was that many technical people, many IT people simply don't uh, understand this aspect of, of uh, human uh, communication. So what they tell them that they must encourage the team to, to, to speak up, encourage the team members to, to tell the opinion, and of course managers to pay attention um, to the concerns of, uh, of their team. Number four trait was uh, that you should be uh, very productive and extremely results oriented. Um, what is uh, result orientation? Of course, we all know what managers must keep in mind in Google and, of course, in uh, all um, uh, really uh, efficient companies is that we should be able to prioritize our work, uh, remove obstacles, uh, and help uh, the team achieve uh, its goals. And we must keep this in mind all the time. We must be able to plan exactly, to keep deadlines exactly, and of course, uh, reach our objectives. Number three, you must be able to express interest in your team members' success and well-being. Uh, what will this mean? You must be able to know your people very well. Uh, to get to know uh, their hobbies, to get to know what uh, problems they might have in their personal life, uh, their purpose in life, um, and so on. So, a good leader is always very close to, to uh, his people personally, too. Number two, you must be able to empower your team and you should not micromanage. Micromanagement is uh, um, a very often met uh, issue in companies, as you all know, uh, Google realizes that it's, it is one major problem, actually problem number two, as I said in, uh, in uh, this list of important managerial problems that uh, should be solved. So uh, they try to influence their leaders to be able to tackle problems themselves, but also to be able to delegate and uh, always um, um, avoid uh, micromanagement. On the other hand, empowering your team to find solutions means that you must be able to, to choose uh, the best people for, for the proper people for, uh, for um, uh, the right jobs. So uh, you must also have excellent, uh, excellent psychological and, uh, and uh, motivational abilities. Number one, as uh, the, project, uh, the Project Oxygen for Google has um, uh, shown that you as a leader must be a good coach. You must work regularly on one-to-one -one in group coaching uh, with everything that this implies, uh, offering solutions, offering advice, uh, analyzing what's going on well and what the problems are. And you must be able to, uh, uh, to find solutions uh, which are tailored to each uh, employee's uh, strengths. So project management, uh, Project Oxygen uh, has helped a lot, uh, Google, and I hope I uh, managed to help you too.